Welcome back to Board Game Casual. Now, I really like the game Camel Up. It's one of my go-to games when I have six or more players, and especially if those folks aren't uh, heavy gamers. This latest printing by Eggert Spiel is fantastic. I love the addition of the crazy camels. The board itself just sparks excitement, and the pyramid dice dispenser is great. Unfortunately, though, it has one major flaw. I thought I hated cardboard money tokens, but these tiny plastic coins are much worse. They're hard to pick up. They're even harder to put down. They're so light that they stick to your fingers. They can't stack and they just sort of go everywhere. Now, I appreciate the attempt. It's clear Eggertspiel tried to make an effort to have nicer components than your typical cardboard tokens. In fact, this is one of the rare games that comes with an awesome box insert. And my guess is they probably started off wanting bigger coins. But as they continued to scope things down to keep costs within range, the coins got smaller and smaller. It's a shame because if these coins were twice the size, or maybe twice the thickness, they'd probably be okay. The $5 coins, for example, are a little more manageable and less fiddly. Though they still don't stack very well. Better still would be metal coins like in Raiders of the North Sea or Charterstone. Those are two great examples of games that include metal coins. Instead, these tiny coins are, unfortunately, just a waste of plastic. This is one of the big reasons I picked up a set of Roxley Iron Clays, just so I'd have an alternative coin to use when playing Camel Up. By no means am I making this video to harp on or discourage you from getting the game itself. Camel Up is a great game, and as I mentioned, this production is fantastic, even though admittedly I prefer the wooden camels from the previous version. My goal is simply to raise awareness in hopes that other manufacturers won't make the same mistake in making their tokens too light or too small. I'm sure it's easy to think that in the grand scheme of things, something like point counters don't really matter. But the reality is that they do, and really good components, or really bad ones, certainly don't go unnoticed. Well, what about you? Do you have the same issues with these tiny coins in Camel Up that I do? Or am I just too fat-fingered? Let me know your opinion either way in the comments. I can't imagine I'm the only one turned off by these. And if you haven't played Camel Up, give it a try. I definitely recommend it, especially if you've got a big group. This is one of my go-tos when I've got six or more. Thanks for watching, thanks for the subscribes, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.